Sometimes it seems like mushrooming is all about looking down because the mushrooms is on the ground, but it's actually also about looking up because a lot of mushrooms grow in specific relationships with trees and you need to know what trees are around you before you can know what mushrooms will grow. So we know that a lot of mushrooms grow in relationships with trees and we have some birch here because we're looking for birch bow leaves, but instead of that we have fairy tale amanita. It's actually like this. We're gonna check underneath too. It's a younger one. Kind of popping up and look, here's a baby. Big shout out to Sarah and Colby who have hooked me up with this amazing porcini spot we found. They found these insane know, king boleets. What the fuck? Bro, this is a dream. I can't believe I have like, such sick fans out in Washington. Dude, this is the beginning yes. of the Fish Nark Foraging Club. Yes. Linked up with some rad mushroomers. Going for the chanterelles. You would look at this and think there is nothing here, but a slight glimpse of this red reveals a lobster mushroom. Oh. Deep in the capital forest. Giant chanterelles and clusters. I'm gonna show you an insane chanterelle cluster that Sarah found. Clusters of chanterelles? Right. Sorry, but what? have we ever Wild. seen them? These look like a chicken of the woods, but not as chanterelles. Chantrelliform. Yeah, let's see the, the booty. Mm. Wow, amazing. Nice. Colby and Sarah, thank you guys so much for mushrooming with me today. It's been a pleasure.
Daily Walks Yield Unknown Mushrooms. A giant puffball, I don't know. Probably take one back to look for more characteristics that we can use to make my beef. page of the uh, tumbling puffball in the guidebook. <laughs> Even though we already know that this is a tumbling puffball, sometimes the mushrooms you'll encounter won't be as distinct looking and you'll need to work on figuring out other characteristics that make them unique so you can make an identification. Uh, it bears mentioning that no toxic mushroom in North America is toxic through touch or smell. You have to physically ingest it and get it in your bloodstream for it to poison. So let me give this puffball a strong whiff because you can learn a lot about the fruit of a mushroom from how it smells. It's a pretty typical mushroom smell. It's kind of earthy. It's not very strong. Interesting. Um, other notes is that these mushrooms were growing alongside of a path, not really necessarily within the influence or orbit of a big tree. It was kind of around a rhododendron bush, but there weren't really any trees right around. I think it might've been more of a mulch situation from the trail, but hard to say. Um, we're not gonna eat it or do anything with it. It's time to get rid of it.